Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can automate your OSINT process with security APIs. Let's get right into this. So we're going to be scripting a tool and what this tool will do is take a username and check for social media accounts of this username. And it's also going to take this username and check if this username has a website. So it's just like a name checker tool and we'll be doing this in Python and using some APIs to do these checks for us. So the API we'll be using for this is social scanner. And to get this, just go come over to rapid API and follow this link here to locate Hillbytes, then come to social scanner. What social scanner does is it takes a username and checks over 25 social media accounts for social accounts of that username. So we'll be using this API for that part of our program. So let's um, put in a user, for example, Elon Musk. So if you run this, it will give you a result in JSON of all those social media accounts. So let's wait for this to run. Yeah, we have a JSON response here and we have different social media accounts for that user. So we're just going to copy the code here and use this code in our program. So let's scroll down to Python and we'll be using Python requests. So I'll copy this code. We're doing this in Python so you can follow along in any operating system you're using. So I'm just going to create a new file here and let's call this name checker.py then I'm going to paste this code here so if we run this code it's meant to do the same thing as what rapid api did in the output so the next thing we want to do is define that this file is a python file so we can do that by typing on the first line shebang bean python 3 yeah so let's run this code so let's change the permission first then let's run this code So we have an output here and this gives us the same output as rapid API. I can see Tesla here. I can see some other things that relate to Elon Musk, but this is a very rough output and we have to clean this out and we just need to do some things to make our little program work in a cleaner format. So let's, let's do some things. The first thing we want to do is allow our users input the username they want to search for. So we can do that by defining a variable u. We can do equals to input and enter username. Then another variable we have here is the target count. So we want the users to also search for, to also be able to define how many social media accounts they want to search through. So let's define another variable and this would be an integer. Then input. Let's just do enter target count one to 25. Um, we want to replace this payload with the user input. So what we'll do is put in these curly braces here to tell the code that we are collecting inputs from um, the variables here. Then we'll put in the formats and define those variables u and t. So what this will do is take this u value, put it in here and take this t value and put it in here. So it's just the same thing 
as the code we had before, but now it's collecting input from the user. So let's try this out. So enter username, let's enter Elon Musk. Then I'm just going to enter five. Then the code checks through um, five social media accounts, but out of those five, it's only found one, which is Facebook. So we we'll use this as a format to try to clean up this output and just get the link of that particular social media account. So most APIs output data in JSON format and we'll be treating this output um, like a JSON file. So let's go back to our code and import JSON. So the first thing we want to do is save this output, that's this response.txt to a JSON file. And how we'll be doing that is um, defining a JSON file. Let's just call this JSON file equals to open. Then the file name data.json and we'll make put this in writes mode so what this does is create a new json file for us and put it in writes mode so we'll write this file by doing this json file the cost to write then what we want to write to this json file we want to write this response dot text output so we'll put this here and we'll close this json file json file dot close i'll leave a link to the documentation of python json um, library and you can just check out different ways you can manipulate json data so let's run this program again i'm just going to comment this out or i'll delete this since we're writing the response out to a file now, and let's see if this works. So let's run our program again. Elon Musk, five. And we have a problem there. Jason dot writes. Let's try this again. Um, the request is done and it stored the response in a data.json file as we defined here. So let's load up this file and check. So we have this JSON file. If you select raw data, you see the same output we had in the terminal. And if you select JSON, this just brings out a cleaner output. So what we need from this is just this link, facebook.com. And in our program, we'll be opening up this JSON file and we'll just be ext and we'll extract just that line, facebook.com. So let's load this up again and let's see how we can extract just that line. So JSON data are just like dictionaries in Python. So we we'll treat um, our outputs as dictionaries and we'll sort them out like Python dictionaries. So what we want to do is open up this JSON file again. So we'll do that by um, using the code json file the open then we'll put this to read mode instead of write so the next thing we want to do is create a variable let's call this values then assign this json data to this variable so just json dot load and we'll put in json file let's take a look at this output again then if you um come over here you see 
um, that this we have a dictionary. The whole thing is a dictionary, and we have a list in that dictionary. But the first key item is detected. So under detected, we have um, a value called link, and we just want to be able to find this value and pull out um, the value of link under detected. And here we'll be able to pull out that link value with a loop. So let's write out this loop for i in values. And with data do we want to pull out? I want to pull out things under detected. So we'll just do for i in values detected. Print i link with this we should be able to just print out that particular link in the whole program so let's try this out and let's see if this works so we we'll run our program Elon Musk let's try five and see what it does it pulls out just facebook.com slash Elon Musk so we've um, been able to create the part of our program that checks for social media accounts with social scanner. The next thing we want to do is check if this username has a website. So since we've imported requests already, we'll also use requests to do this, to make this check. So let's first define a value called websites and we want to do something like http plus the username which is you plus you plus dot com so we'll only be checking dot com websites but we can easily take this further with another api like subdomain scan or dns for us so if we use dns forza in our code we might be able to check through .com .org and different other domains for now we'll just use .com the thing we want to do with request is check if the website is active by um requesting for the website and checking the status code of the website so if it gives us a status code of 200 we'll know that this particular website is active so let's define a function here and let's call this website check then we'll be taking in the value of website so we'll put in a try some errors we want to be able to bypass with the on the in the request module so we'll use try and accept in python to bypass those errors so let's just put in get equals to requests dot get website then we'll put in an if statement to check if the status is a 200. So if get dust, so if get dot status code equals to equals to 200, then we we'll print. Let's see websites is a website i have two ifs here and else then else we'll just print website is not a website so now we'll put our accept here then i'm just going to copy from library documentation here then this should sort out any error if we get any outputs other than um, status code 200 or we get any error we just print out website is not a website then let's call websites checker websites 
websites. Website check rather. So let's clean this code up a little and let's put in um just gonna put in a print statement here. I'll just copy this. And put this here. So let's check our code now. So our code should be able to check social scanner for social accounts of that username then take that username put it in here and check if that username has a website so let's try this out we'll do elon musk then let's just do 25. so now we have a very clean output we put in the username we put in the target count and our code checked social scanner and was able to find all these social media accounts with just a simple copy and paste code then we took the same username put it in our website checker and check if this username is a website this is a simple way you can automate your OSINT process with apis and if you come over to rapid api you can find different apis on rapid api and just um use all these apis in your code in your software in your script uh, for different things you want to use so this is just an example of what you can do with using apis like this and yeah we can take this script further by checking this username if this username is registered on as a company on websites and just do um different other things like check for other domains like dot com dot org and what we can do is beyond limits and APIs just make all these checks and all these scripting, all these tools very easy for us to do. So we didn't have to script a tool that will have to find all these social media accounts from scratch. We just put in a simple code from the API and we're able to use that in our program. So yeah, that'll be all for today. I hope you learned something from this and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below and don't forget to also check out our LinkedIn page, Hillbyte. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.